Hi and welcome back to Garden Ninja. Now a few of you online have been asking about bricking out and potting on ceilings so I thought today would be a great day to give you a quick guide on how to prick out and pot on your seedlings. So come on, let's go to the greenhouse. So here we have a seed tray. Now these are for scabious that I've grown from seed and this is all part of my gardening without plastic journey. So I'm using wooden and recyclable containers. And what we're going to do today is we're going to lift these scabious carefully out of the seed tray which is known as pricking on into individual pots and that way they can grow far bigger and stronger than if they were just constrained within this. So depending on the size of your seedlings you're going to need a dibber like this or a pencil or even a lolly stick like the name tag and you're going to be using that both to make the hole in the pot with the new compost and also to loosen the plant and then carefully lift it into the other pot. First things first, you're going to need to fill your new pot with some compost. Now I'm just using a general purpose compost here. And then if you've got a tamper like this, you can give it a bit of a tamp and that just removes some of the air pockets. So you're basically going for a nice consistent surface. Don't fill it to the very top because when you water it, it's going to spill out, it's a mess. So we've got our pot there and then carefully, and I will grab my dibber when I find it, here we go. I'm going to use my dibber or my lolly stick just to start to loosen um, the seedlings out of the tray. So we're going to go for this at the back. Now, when you're grabbing them, or touching them I should say, you always want to be touching them by the leaves, never ever the stem. So here we go, I'm going to dig that in, just give it a bit of a work around. I can actually feel the roots there, which is good. They've got nice solid roots there. Carefully, carefully. You can hear it coming. Way. Wow, look at that. Let's get that up close and see. So you can see there just how strong those roots are. Look at that, that's brilliant. So that's really well established. So what I need to do now is very quickly with the dibber is to move it onto its next part. You don't want that to dry out. So my dibber in the new part, I'm going to make a hole. I tend to like this sort of carousel action. And I'm going to take that little seedling just let it drop in ever so slightly. I don't want the roots on the surface, so I need them in the hole. So you can carefully use your finger. Again, don't touch that stem. Just cover that over. And I'm not going to be too vicious. I'm just going to give it a quick poke down around the edge just to secure it. And then I'm going to water it straight away. When I water it, the water will soak through and will cause a little vacuum that then fills all those spaces. So you don't want to cram it in because you'll damage the roots. I always use room temperature water so I don't shock the plant and you literally just want to give it a really good soak. If it starts to move about, just hold it by the leaf, give it a really good soak. The water will be pulled down throughout the plant, there we go. And pretty much that is all you need to do for potting on. So that's how you prick out a plant. So I've got a low board to do now and I'm going to show you a few more examples just until you get the hang of it. So there we go, my really easy way for pricking out and potting on plants. If you've liked this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel where there are loads more garden design and planting hints, tips and hacks. I've been Garden Ninja, happy gardening.